welcome to my channel. I'm Jolene. Well, um, I guess everybody is under the lockdown, uh, same as myself. Today, I'm going to teach you a very simple snack. I call it as a snack that is chicken floss, and uh, this is my children's favorite. It is good uh, to eat it by itself, or you serve it in your porridge or your bread. Okay, so uh, let me start showing you all the ingredients and the start. Okay, first and foremost, you need to have 500 grams of chicken breast, two stalks of scallion, some garlic, and five centimeter ginger slice. Okay, just let me heat up the gas first. So basically, I can put in all my ingredients. Okay, just let me throw everything inside. Smells so good. Mm. Right, meanwhile, we are waiting for this chicken to get cooked. Right, just let me introduce you the uh, seasoning. Hold the camera with my hands while cooking is not easy. It's a oyster sauce, and uh, you need uh, sesame oil, um, um, salt, white pepper, uh, soy sauce, and sugar. So just get prepared with this seasoning. Okay, it's time's up. Oh, okay, finally, it's okay. okay. Mm, it smells so good, so nice. It's a rich broth, right? Use the broth for cooking. Okay, just let it cool for a while, uh, fully cool before we spread it. Okay, and then meanwhile, I'll just remove all this uh, spring onion. Okay, I just need to let it cool down for 30 minutes. We are back again after the cooling down of this chicken, uh, chicken meat that I have boiled. So it's time for stretching now and let me put on my glove. Okay. Let's spread it. So you just need to you know before that some massage <laughs> for the chicken meat. You know why? Because you need to loosen it and easier for you to spread it. And uh, don't spread it too fine. Okay, what you do is you just need to spread it a tiny little bit. Once you have spread right, 
just try to loosen it. You know, so this is my shredded chicken. I shredded it. See, it's not too fine. Okay, you have an idea how to shred it. Okay, let's start doing the seasoning. I have my uh, tablespoon here. Um, Usually I don't I don't do any measurements, but because for the sake of filming, I just um, have to use the measurement, you know, according uh, according to the recipe. Okay, so uh, start off with my start off with my mushroom vegetarian oyster sauce. Two tablespoons for me is enough because I don't like too salty. Okay, and uh, soya sauce, uh, one tablespoon. Sesame oil. The amount of sesame oil is. For me, it's one tablespoon of sesame oil. Okay, some salt. I bought this from Norway, so I don't know what salt is this. And white pepper. Sugar. Uh, for the sugar, we need more of it. Uh, you need more sugar for this, otherwise, it's very salty. It's about uh, for me like three, four, about five, six. I think it's enough for me. Seven. No, I just estimate. So you go according to your taste. Okay. And I just have to mix it. It's okay for the first, uh, you know, the first flavoring. When you still need to flavor it for the second time when you need to taste it after the first batch of uh, cooking. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, we need to use a bread maker. Facing up. Okay, let it sit properly. Close the lid. So you need to use the jam mode. Okay, and then start. So for the jam mode, usually they will start with preheating first. They will heat up before they start to uh, do the job. So you just leave it and I come back after one hour, five minutes. See you then. Okay, finally finished. Let's see the finishing from the first phase. Wow, it's hot. Careful. Look. It's, this is not the end, but I just need to lift this up and transfer to a plate and let it rest a while. Okay. Can you see the outcome of the first phase? This is just a first phase, all right? You see, that's why I uh, mentioned at the beginning that you don't stretch it too fine. You see, if you are you stretch it too fine, it will become powdery. So, it's best to just 
has um, you know a, a spread that is just right Just need to loosen up, you know, loosen up. I, I should have used a bigger tray. You know, some of the lump, you notice some of the lump. Alright, so after the 30 minutes of rest, I'm going to put this back for uh, the second cooking again where you will get even more uh, finer texture uh, a better taste the taste will be infused uh, stronger drier all in now for the second phase but uh, before that I forgot I taste well I feel it's a bit too salty um, therefore I need to adjust the flavor by adding um, extra sugar to balance up the taste okay I just approximately have um, four teaspoons and now I'm going to put this into my uh, bread maker Okay, we got to use the jam mode again. Okay, guys, it's finished for the phase two. Ooh, look at the result. It's hard. Wow, look how flaky is it? Can you see how fluffy, flaky, and dry? So that's why you need two times. Okay, just let me remove it. It's not hot. Okay, so my chicken floss is cooled down and it's fully cooled down. Look at the. Um, just let me show you that how fluffy is it, how light is it. You see that? So we need to store it in a container, airtight container. in an airtight container and put it in a dry dry area 